Hi guys, in the previous video we saw that Git ahead was not working. So I went online and I looked for possibilities to make this particular app work. Now we have something in that regard. We have a pseudo pacman minus s article Linux Wayland app hooks. That's the one, right? If you have that, and that's what we always have on the ISOs, not on the D. You have to figure everything out there. That's the Arclinx Wayland app hooks. It has a pacman.d hook that says if you install git ahead, git ahead bin, git ahead git, then you're gonna change some things. So basically, that's exactly what we've done. We've made a hook and take a look, git ahead is now working. So it is possible to run things, but it requires, in this case, 20 minutes of research to find out what do I need to put in front of it? And what did we do? This is the change we've done. User bin, user bin, and then there's the environment, QT, QPA, platform, XCB, and it's set before, just get that. That's all it said. But we're saying this on Wayland, he gets it, right? And we have this little script that does the work that says, if you're either on Hyperland or Wayfire or Sway, then you're on, Wy on Wayland. And if you're on Wayland, then it's better to change the Octopi settings, but also in here, the Qt platform XCB. So this is something else. This is GTK backend X11, and this is Qt QPA platform XCB. And we change it we say, okay, if that file exists, if somebody installed Git ahead, then we should change it. We should say, okay, you're going to install it. Fine. Then we're going to change this into this. And these, these guys, these slashes that fall to the left is to ex escape the other one. <laughs> so to tell them, don't bother with this one. This is not a divider. This is not it's used to say anything about set, for example, right? Because we have a slash here and a slash there. So it's gonna change it. And without you knowing it, it will work on Arcanlex, right? Because of these apps, these hooks. So if you're much more than me on Wayland and you say, Eric, that's great. I have this application, this and this and this. We can add other applications to the list, right? As long as we can, we can work like data here, Arglink Nemesis. This one, we can't unfortunately not do it because it actually is custom actions. It's something else. It's configure custom action. We need to tell him as well, the whole enchilada in front of it, and then it will work. Well, we could do a test, right? We could do a test. Interesting for me, haven't done that yet. So this one, if I complete well, let's get everything like this. Control C, up, Control V, and then, okay, stop. Right mouse click, git ahead. Well, it's solved, but we're not gonna do that in XFCE. But if you're working, that's basically one file that you need to copy paste somewhere, it's very safe. Say, put it back. When on a clean install, you're gonna get the, 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 Thunar, here he is. Just put this one back, right? And then everything works and you can have a look. What did I do? What changed? I have my, made my profile. So from now on, I'm using a profile in OBS Studio at a certain, um, or certain settings. And this, these are my settings. And just copy paste over and if it's not good it's not good then we're going to change again and this is all the changes i've made and i really like it ahead so it's back in business on wayland cheers